Okay. Uh, on to the actual material here. And starting off with security management. Now, that tends to scare uh, an awful lot of people who come to information security from a more technical background. They are absolute wizards at every setting uh, in terms of creating a firewall. Uh, they know all of the magic uh, buttons when uh, creating a new instance in the cloud. Uh, they have, you know, everything there is to know about uh, cryptography, whatever it is. You know, the different uh, tools in security. And then they're being asked to uh, learn this material on security management and and they haven't you know they aren't necessarily managers they are professionals in in other areas uh, or consider themselves professionals in other areas but the thing is you can have all the security tools you want you can have uh, anti-malware capabilities uh, you can have uh, various types of network scanning. You can have um, uh, firewalls, cryptography, uh, uh, backups for your business continuity, uh, hot sites, you know, and on and on and on. And if you don't have management of all of these tools, you do not have security. So security management is truly foundational. And that is partly why I start here uh, in, in terms of going over the entire field of security itself. Uh, an awful lot of people are working their way up through the profession, starting in some, you know, fairly technical areas, talking uh, about uh, network administration, for example, uh, an awful lot of uh, entry gateways for those who eventually uh, come into the field. And uh, so, well, you know, think about it. If, if you are already managing the settings on these various tools. Uh, you know, that is management, okay? But there is uh, an additional point, and that is that we have uh, difficulties in communicating with senior management who primarily have not come either through the technical fields or um, uh, in particular, in uh, the area of information security. So, uh, you know, we are seen as a problem, as I, I went through in the introduction. Um, we have uh, difficulties in communicating. And as I say, you know, we shouldn't. Uh, because any manager, as I said, is managing people and risk. And risk management is one of our major areas. And that certainly is something that we are going to be discussing here in security management. Is how, uh, you know, what kind of risk assessments do we do? What kind of risk analysis? And ultimately, the risk management where we put the tools, the controls, the safeguards, the countermeasures into place as appropriate with uh, our good old cost-benefit analysis that we are going to get into. Uh, and, you know, all of these things are aspects of security management. And, and the risk management part, which managers tend to do sort of on the fly, we, we do in a uh, somewhat more formal way. And should be able to communicate that to them, uh, should be able to assist them in their own uh, 
uh, formulating of risk management decisions. And of course, we're going to be advising uh, senior management in all of these areas in regard to information security. So, uh, you know, as professionals, that is going to be our job. And communication with management, speaking management's language, uh, supporting their decisions, and they're the ones who are going to be making deci the decisions that affect very much our lives and, and what we do and, and how uh, we handle uh, various aspects of security uh, in, in supporting the business is going to be affected by their decisions. So we want to support their decisions as best as we can so that they make the best decisions. Now, this is going to lead to uh, decisions, particularly in terms of policy. And uh, that is where senior management is going to be working. They are going to be creating the policies. We are going to be creating or at least proposing the security policies. And, of course, senior management is going to be asked to sign off on those security policies. And we will get into what uh, policy is. But it's, you know, this is it's high level statements of what we're going to do, what's important to us, how we're going to protect it, those types of things. And that brings up the other point. What are we going to protect? What is it that we are protecting specifically? I mean, in general, we are protecting the business. We are protecting the company. We are, um, well, you know, we are supporting the business. That is an important aspect of the security attitude, the the. Uh, principles of what we are doing in information security is we are supporting the business. We are not just doing things on our own with our tools because they are, you know, fun to to play with. Uh, we are supporting the business, but specifically, what is it that we are protecting? And that gets us into assets. And this is something that we tend to forget. We we talk. And we'll talk about the threats and the vulnerabilities and the risks and the threat agents and so on and so forth. And we forget so often the most important aspect, which is what is, in fact, the asset that we are protecting. Is this the computer? Is this a computer system? Is this the network? Is this the information? Is this... Um, specialized software that we may have that may be very important to the the company uh, to our enterprise whatever our enterprise may be and so yes we need to support the enterprise we need to know specifically what is important to the enterprise what we are protecting before we make any decisions about how we are going to do that